Hello, hello, hello. Thank you very much for tuning in, everyone. It's Beer Monster O'Clock. And uh, I've been time bargains again. And uh, I've got a red bottle of red Peroni. And the difference between this Peroni and, uh, you know, your normal Peroni, shall we say, normal in the UK anyway, uh, yeah, this one's red. And uh, it's also brewed in Italy, which is the main uh, thing you get in here. This is the proper Peroni. This is what you'll get if you have a Peroni in Italian, if you go to Italy and have a Peroni in an Italian restaurant. This is a very popular beer in Italy. This is their number one selling lager in Italy. So this is the proper stuff. So I'm excited to try a real Peroni, not the stuff that we get over here, which is okay, but it's not that good really, to be fair. Although it is very popular. Uh, so it's bad, you know, it's not a great beer. This is a 330 ml bottle, this one. It's 4.7% ABV. Uh, and it costs you one pound nine pence in home bargains. Uh, so yeah, it's, oh, and also, the Italians know to put it in a brown bottle, unlike the one you get over here, which is in the green bottle. So if I do have that, the UK Peroni, I tend to buy it in a case where like the cardboard protects it from the uh, UV, from because uh, obviously the sunlight damages the hops and that uh, gives it a nice, well, horrible skunky taste, shall we say. So I'll either have it in a can or buy it in a, uh, if I'm having bottles, make sure that it's in a cardboard sort of box or something and that will protect it from the sunlight. Anyway, so let's look at the uh, bottle cap. It's red and it says Peroni. So, uh, yeah, quite a basic looking bottle, I suppose you could say. Anyway, let's uh, crack her open, shall we? Let me know if you've tried this Italian, proper Italian Peroni. Oh, new bottle opener, gotta suck it out. Here we go. Adam on it, look. It's a gift from your lovely daughter when I was on holiday. Thought that was very sweet of her. Cheers. <laughs> right, let's get into the glass. Shame it's not a bigger bottle, though. It's the only size bottles they did. Was, uh, it would have been nice to have had one of the 60 60 mil bottles or something. Anyway, here she is. Might have been an idea for me to have picked up a UK Peroni and sort of compared the two of them, but uh, too late now, isn't it? It's in the glass. Got a decent sized white head. It looks quite nice, quite compact bubbles on this one. It's looking like a decent beer, I would say the uh, carbonation there. Decent levels. It looks slightly darker than UK Peroni to me. It's that sort of typical lagery colour, nice golden uh, colour. But I think it is slightly darker from memory than UK Peroni, which may be a good thing. May suggest that uh, it's more malty. Anyway, let's check out the aromas and uh, see what it's all about. Oh, it does smell like a nice lager. It does. You've got like sweet malts in here. And floral. It smells a bit like a pilsner. Perhaps a little bit of spice and like herbalness as well. It's a very nice smelling lager. Quite big aromas as well for a lager. Like compared to the UK Peroni. This one smells fantastic, a lot, lot better. Looking forward to uh, tucking into this now and hopefully it tastes as good as it smells because it smells absolutely lovely for a lager. I mean, lagers are not really known for having much aroma, but this one uh, has a very nice aroma. All right, let's have a look at the signs. Yeah, say cheers in Italian. Uh, Portuguese, no, Italian, there we go, salute. Cheers, everybody, salute. Bosh! Hey! <laughs> Alright, cheers everyone. Mamma mia! Completely, completely different league to the UK one. I mean, Italians are not really known for their lagers. I mean, over here, a lot of people drink Moretti and Peroni. So, yeah, they're popular in that in the UK, but they're not really known for their beer in general. But they do make a nice Peroni. Uh, that is much better than the UK one. So much more flavour, and the flavour is so much more complex than the UK one as well. It's light bodied, it's 
perfectly carbonated. Got them nice small bubbles in there. And the small bubbles tend to be a sign of quality. I mean, there's no doubt this is a mass produced beer, but the quality on this Italian version is substantially better than the UK one. It really, really is. It, uh, if you're a Peroni lo uh, lover, you've got to try this red one. If you've not, the malts in this are lovely. You've got them like sweet, bready malts. Really, really nice sweetness to this. And I'm not really a fan of um, sweet beers, but there's a lovely sweetness to the malts in this. And uh, what's making it okay for me is that it's balanced perfectly with this like nice sharp sort of bitterness on the end. And it just really balances out that sweetness really well. And also we're getting sort of on the end, some sort of Pilsner-like, slight Pilsner-like spice and herbalness. So, I mean, I'm not sure it doesn't mention about being a Pilsner, but it certainly reminds me of a Pilsner style lager, if you're into your Pilsners. It's just got that whole bittersweet vibe about it, you know, getting the sweetness from the malts and you've got that bitterness in the end as, as well as the spice and the herbalness and that. And I always like it when you get that bittersweet sort of finish on a beer. And uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's really, really nice. Mm. The bitterness lingers slightly, and that sort of hoppy floralness lingers with the bitterness. This makes you want to dive in again. It's a super refreshing, crisp lager. You know, it's, this is what you want. It's nothing overly complicated. There's nothing overly crazy about it. It's just, it does what a lager is supposed to do. It's refreshing. It's a hot day lager, you know, it, it'll cool you down. It, you know, it's crisp and refreshing. That's what you want. It's that, this is what you want in a lager. Super easy drinking. I reckon that go nice with a, um, and that's pasta dish. Maybe a Gino de Campo pizza. Yeah, so that's a very nice lager that is. Um, as far as score goes out of 10, I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for 8.8 .8 out of 10. I've really enjoyed that. Um, that's probably my favorite Italian lager I've tried. The, obviously the Italian version of Peroni. It's better than Moretti for me, and it's better than the UK Peroni by quite a while quite a way by a good couple of marks for me. Yeah, it's, it's a shame I want a bigger bottle. You know, can't, can't have it all though, can you? But I'll give it an 8.8 .8 and uh, I will be looking out for a bigger bottle with home bargains. <laughs> Hopefully they will stock them in the future. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, thanks for tuning in guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have done, hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the little bell button next to the subscribe button down here somewhere. Or there, one way or the other. Yeah, if you hit the bell button, you get notified every time I release a new video. You can see what beer it is, see if you're interested in it, and if you want to watch it. Uh, and yeah, till next one, guys. Bye-bye, darlings.